Welcome back to my channel. This video is not a travel video as usual. Since I started this YouTube channel, I have asked many times, what kind of gear do I use? Which brand of bag do I use? Do you recommend this or that? Something like that. So I'd like to answer those questions with this video with my personal experiences. But let me tell you one thing that I do replace a lot of parts from Brompton original but I do not recommend to do it like mine if you own your Brompton, especially if you ride in urban area. Brompton original parts are great enough and super reliable. I tried a lot of items in the past and many of them didn't do their job or not strong enough for a long ride journey. So please take it as my personal opinion. But yes, I do recommend items I'm going to show you on this video because they made a lot of easier traveling for longer distance ride in rural area with my heavy gears and they are still on my Brompton after a long, long journey. Alright, so please enjoy. This is my Brompton travel setup version 2021. For tires, I use the Schwab one tongue color tire. This one I installed my another Brompton as well and I've been using them more than 3 years now. Never had any problem so far and I think this looks a lot cooler than normal black tire. But riding feels exactly the same. For the wheel set, I use Hubsmith aluminum wheel set which use great bearing in their hand which makes it very easy to ride compared to original wheel and hub. You can feel difference as soon as you ride it. This one isn't that good, but there is a cons of this wheel, as you may hear. Yeah, it's too loud, but I like it. This is Brompton Metro 14 liter backpack, medium size. I put my filming gears, lenses, drawn, and some batteries. I've tried many Brompton bags. But this one is my best front bag so far for my travel style due to lightness and an easy carry when you bring my Brompton on the train. I use a 25 liter roll top waterproof bag before for travel. But if you put all the gears like cameras, drones, clothes, camping gears into one big bag, it makes super front heavy and also it's super hard to carry around. So now I spread my items into two bags front back and rear back. For the light, I use a Brompton Original light, which has a 400 lumen brightness. It is enough for riding in most of the rural area in Japan. Also, good thing about this is you may charge this light with your mobile battery. For the headset, I use Chris King's headset. People say it's more durable than the original one and it provides smoother handling. But honestly speaking, I didn't realize what the difference between original one and Chris King's one? Sorry if I make you disappointed. This is leather carrier Brock strap, which was handmade and super cheap, but this makes it super easier to unattach your front back. This is how I mount my smartphone, quad lock mount. This is the best way to hold your smartphone on the handle, I believe. Recently, Brompton launched original quad lock mount, which is perfectly fit to your Brompton. I put quad lock adapter on my drone's controller, like this. For the saddle, I have tested a lot of saddles until I finally find this one. Brooks C70 Cambium Saddle. This electric saddle is super comfortable for a long ride. If you're looking for your best saddle, I recommend to measure your wise your tailbone. In bike shop, for example, I visited a specialized shop to measure. Mine is 123mm wide, which means saddle size 155mm is perfectly fit to my bone for a specialized saddle. In case of Brooks, the C70 size is my size. For the sheet post, I use H&H &H titanium sheet post, which helps lighten your Brompton. 
and on a sheet post I attach the click fix adapter to carry my tripod. This is very lightweight and it can hold my heavy tripod and provides stability. And also, you can dismount with one hand. So, this one is definitely a game changer for my travel and shooting video style. For crank and chain ring, I use a Spanish rotor O-rings. This oval chain ring provides you easier longer distance ride and thanks to its hardness of its material, you may feel your power directly kicks your pedaling. But there is of course pros and cons of this crank set. The cons is you cannot use Brompton original pedal that I really liked. So I replaced my pedals to MKS 7 Touring Next. For the roller, I use Easy Wheels, the Brompton original. I use them with the extender before for easier rolling my Brompton when it's folding. But that one warped with the shock when I grounded my Brompton and it cannot be pushed to original position and I had to give up my travel. So I decided not to use that anymore. For suspension, I use Joseph Cousy Hot Shock suspension, which is a lot of harder than the original one. It makes you ride more uncomfortable, but you can feel there is a less power loss on your pedaling. The rear rack, my Brompton Double 12 model. I didn't have any option for installing rear rack when I bought it. Therefore, I didn't use it for a long time, but after I traveled to West Japan with my backpack and front bag, I realized that backpack is not my option due to I felt heavy pain on my butt because of carrying backpack. So I decided to use rear bag and rear carrier. For the rear bag, I used Vincitas Nash rear bag, which you can mount and unmount very easily and you can extend the back by opening a side zipper. I usually put my camping gear and the clothes when I'm traveling. Like tables, sleeping bag, top. This is my hammock. And the light. Well, this is my camping set. And the last but not least, I use Minora's aluminum kickstand. This one is needed if you use rear back. Well, that's all for my Brompton Travel Setup version 2021. If you have any questions, please drop the comment. And if you have any recommended parts, please let me know. Thanks for watching and stay safe.